am quite disappointed for the result of this one since these are advertised as 4600 milliamps or so but then it only has the capacity test of at least 100 522 same with the triple a battery so less is advertised So good day and good afternoon. So for this uh, video, we're going to unbox something that we purchased from Shopee, which is the Sony rechargeable uh, battery. And also we're going to review this uh, Litokala or Litokala as they say, a battery charger. So we purchased this uh, rechargeable battery from Shopee. At uh, I don't know if it's a uh, good buy or not since it's just in a low price. So let's try to open the package up and test it for charging and discharging. Okay. So first, let's open up the packaging. So it's uh, wrapped in bubble wrap, of course, and so here are the batteries. So I purchased uh, four triple uh, A batteries and also four double uh, A batteries. So for the triple A batteries, this will be used with with this one, some rechargeable device such as uh, our mouse. Also, this uh, this one, this wireless keyboard, is also a triple A battery, as you can see. So this will be just used as a backup power for our keyboard and mouse. And let's see if it's really worth the price. Okay. So by the way, I will just link the description down below for these uh, batteries that we purchased from Shopee, and also. To test for the capacity of this one, I will be using this uh, Litokala Intelligent Battery Charger. So this one is the LI500. So let's open this thing up. So this was also purchased uh, online. Here. Okay, so this is the Litokala engineer LII 500 so unfortunately when you purchase this one it does not include the universal charger which is a 12 volt uh, adapter and it is recommended here that you'll be using a 12 volt 2 amperes uh, battery okay so this uh, little color battery charger charge uh, any compatible batteries it could be nickel metal hydride double uh, a triple a batteries and sc sizes this also charge a uh, lithium ion batteries so as you can see here on its uh, holder it would fit a uh, lithium ion battery here so let's try to see how this works also so for the charger of this one, fortunately I have one here, so I hope you can see that clearly it is a 12 volt Huawei, <laughs> Huawei charger or Huawei power supply from my dead router. So since this charger comes with a 12 volt plug which is kind of universal, so this one uh, sticks into it so let's try to turn this on and see if it works so we could plug it here in our wall outlet let's remove this one first plug in the adapter right there so 
here is already plugged to the wall and let's see plugging it in the socket okay it's turned on so it says here it's null okay so let's try to remove this rechargeable batteries so it says here it is a rechargeable battery and it is it is at 4300 ampere R okay so let's try to remove this one Maybe first we will check on these uh, triple A batteries. So it is a cycle energy rechargeable battery. So type is a triple A, and it says here it's at 4,300 milliampere hours. Okay, so to test this one with a charger. At the bottom part here is the positive and the movable extension arm here is the negative. So let's try to put this one in. Okay, so as soon as you plug in the battery, it says here it's blinking indicator one and it's it's, it is in a charging mode okay so as you click on the modes just hold it for about a few seconds then it will blink out then you can now change for what mode are you going to use it will it be a fast test the normal test and the charging so for this one we will go for first on the normal test and we'll see if it's really a I don't know if it's really a 4300 milliampere hours okay so I don't know initially if it has charge in it but we can test it out just take it to the side so for this one, we'll be using the NJTY uh, multi-tester and let's check if it has an initial voltage. So it's now at zero volts and test it here. So positive and negative. For now, it has a 1.24, 25 volts. So let's hold this one first. Okay, as you can see, it's 1.248. So initially, it has a charge, initial charge. Okay. just plug in the batteries so this one is the positive side this one is the negative side then we plug in the DC power okay so it's now on so while blinking we will select on the normal test here and we'll be testing it in 500 milliamperes okay so it's starting okay so for the quick update after one hour and 
four minutes of testing uh, cell 2 which is the triple a battery has already ended its uh, capacity test and as you can see here the capacity test for the triple a battery is only at 270 milliampere hour so it's quite a low value for this type of <coughs> rechargeable battery so let's wait for the double a battery to fully complete the test and let's try to summarize later okay so let's wait for the double a battery to complete its testing cycle So the AAA battery has already completed its normal test and here this is its capacity. It is only at 522 milliamps and this charge time is about 2 hours. disappointed for the result of this one since these are advertised as 4600 milliamps or so but then it only has the capacity test of at least 100 522 same with the triple a battery so less is advertised okay so since it's done the normal testing, we'll charge it now for future use. By the way, cell 2 has already completed its charging as I've already charged it earlier. Okay. So as to the verdict of the batteries that we have just tested, which is the so as to the verdict of the batteries that we have just tested, which which is the Sony Cycle Energy batteries, which is particularly the nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries, I for me on my own opinion. I really would not recommend it for you to buy those batteries but the batteries are already here so the one thing for me to do is to use these batteries as much as possible as long as it is usable for certain types of devices so if you think that this video is helpful for you just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so in the future videos, we'll still be looking for rechargeable batteries that we can still use within our uh, homes. So, see you later.